Hey everybody, Jason here from Meridio, and in today's video we're going to be talking about 48 gigabits per second. First off, what is 48 gigabits per second? That can mean a lot of things, but today we're going to be talking about it and how it relates to audio, video, and HDMI. 48 gigabits per second is the maximum bandwidth allowed in the new HDMI 2.1 specification. This is almost three times more bandwidth than what we saw in HDMI 2.0. So, you might be asking, why does this matter? More bandwidth simply means that more data can be sent per second. 48 gigabits per second will allow for more frames to be sent per second, which will be great for sports and gamers especially. Higher resolutions means that we can see more detail for analytical decision making and for some high-end home theater systems. The HDMI 2.0 specification allows for three TMDS channels to carry the audio and video data. This can easily handle six gigabits per second per channel, giving us a total of 18 gigabits per second. Also, there's a single channel for pixel clock that helps keep all that audio and video data synchronized. HDMI 2.1 allows that additional clock channel to be repurposed for data. These data channels are now called lanes in a process called FRL, or fixed rate link. Using FRL, the six gigabits per second that we saw in HDMI 2.0, can be increased to 12 gigabits per second, and now we're talking about four lanes. So that gives us a total of 48 gigabits per second. FRL also supports signals from below 1080p all the way up to 10K, all while maintaining a transmission of 48 gigabits per second. And it can switch video content type without ever losing sync. All thanks to irrelevant info bits and specified compression, which we'll talk about in a later video when we dive deep into HDMI 2.1. So, what does a 48 gigabit per second signal look like? Most HDMI products have a specification that's defined by common signal types, such as 4K60, 4K30, or 1080p60. Be careful though, because these specifications can be misleading. For example, some 4K60 devices struggle with full chroma information, like 444, which would be a full 18 gigabits per second signal. Instead, they're only able to support 4K60 at 420, which is around 14 gigabits per second. As you can imagine, this could cause headaches for integrators as they try to pass signals that some devices just can't pass. As professional installers work with HDMI 2.1, they'll have to keep in mind that to distribute 48 gigabits per second, everything in the signal chain will have to support that bandwidth. Sending 48 gigabits per second down an 18 gigabit per second pipeline is just not gonna happen. To ensure compatibility, consumers will have to refer to the maximum bandwidth capabilities of a device or a cable instead of just a signal type. This is the only way to determine a device's true capabilities. If you want to learn more about 48 gigabits per second in HDMI 2.1, hit that subscribe button to get more videos here from Meridio. Be sure to check out meridio.com for more information on our HDMI test equipment, or you can always give us a call at 605-330-8491. Thanks for watching.